Chef Anthony here at Dawn's Appliances. So excited to bring you beer can chicken. Two of my favorite things, beer, chicken, can, that's three things, whatever it is. We're gonna make it a great beer can chicken on the Napoleon Grill today. Let's get going. Thank you to Matt. We're using his trusty um, beer can holder. So we're gonna do a shandied version today with some uh, dry rub, a little bit of mustard, and make it amazing. So first, half crack the beer and make sure the beer is good, okay? Oh, that's cold. All right, we're done cooking. <laughs> okay, beer's ready. We're to this, we're gonna add a little bit of our barbecue seasoning right in. It'll permeate and once the heat hits it, the beer's gonna be overflowing and really season this chicken from the inside out. So it is full, look at that. Give it a little puff, give it a little puff. That's why I put it on a tray. Add a little more, it's like a cool science experiment. Anyway. To this, one roasted chicken. I washed it already, guys. I got out all the giblets and the fun packets of stuff that they give you. So this guy's gonna go right on. Hello, hi. And we wanna make sure just to open this up and make sure we get some venting through it, okay? We need that. And I'm just gonna pinch the wings back. So we just take the small wing and flip it back just like this. That helps give us a better, more even cook so these guys don't crisp up, okay? To this, we're gonna add some mustard and coat it. Depending on the size of the fryer you're using, this is a medium one. So it's probably gonna take two tablespoons. I'll just put that right on there. Do, 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 and get it nice and coated. Wanna make sure we do the breast side and really get all that white meat, because it can actually, um, the dark meat has more fat, a little more protected. That'll actually, the um, white meat will actually burn up. So we're gonna make sure we get it nice and nice. And I'm gonna switch it up. I have a little roasted garlic seasoning and some barbecue rub. I'm gonna go half and half on that. Probably a quarter cup of each. Get it nice and coated so we get a great looking roasted breast. Perfect. Don't forget to get it all. If you're doing a bunch of these, you can have these seasoned ready to roll ahead of time in your fridge. Just make sure we bring them down to room temperature. I had this one probably for about a half hour, 40 minutes, just sitting here on the counter, just so we take that initial chill off it. Because believe me, no matter what you're grilling, it has to be at room temperature or a little below, okay? Remember that in your preparations, okay? Got that. Let's add some of this roasted garlic. Should give it some great seasoning. Load it up. It's a heavy two cups. Maybe it's more than two cups. I'd say so. But let me swing this around because I can't see it from camera land, but the back looks good. Legs need a little bit more love. All right, put a little on the legs. And look at that. We got a nice little bit of beer on the bottom. You can add a little more water. You could add some chicken stock if you need a little more flavoring. Other than that, this is ready for the grill. Let's do it. All right, we're here at the grill. I already have it preheated. Preheated it's a little over 500, but that's too high. I know when we open the oven door here, we're gonna lose a little heat and I'm gonna talk a little bit, but I really wanna keep it to that 300, 325 mark. And I have the, see the burners are red here. I'm gonna pull in, so now this is really where I'm gonna put my chicken right on here. Look at that. So chicken's gonna go on. Really, 3, 325 is kind of the sweet spot. I'm actually, let's inch this up and put this water pan to the back so it actually gets a little bit more of that heat. So you really want it to stand up like this, really get that heat around it, and multiple, let's check that water pan too just to make sure it's not burning up and things like that. That'll add some great flavor and aroma. So enough talking, lid goes down, 325. It's probably gonna take 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna check it, okay? Thank you. All right, let's open the grill here. Check out our beer can chicken. Temped out at around 165 right now. Took a little bit longer. It was around an hour and a half, about an hour and 35 minutes. But we that extra 15 minutes, that extra 30 minutes really gave it some great crusting and that perfect internal temperature. That's really what we're hitting for at 165. So let's take this to the cutting board. All right, <laughs> look at this chicken, it looks beautiful, beer can style. Let's see if we can take it off here, get it off our roasting tray, kind of push it down. Look at that. 
the smell of just the beer and everything really comes through. I mean, move this off this side. Keep it nice and easy. I'm gonna drink that later. Wow. Let's check. Looks amazing. Break this down. Let me cut right into the um, breast meat so you guys can see the white meat. Look, look at the juice just running. That's nice. We'll switch over to the paring knife just to get in a little closer to the action, folks. Huh. That's great. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to eat a piece of that. I think. Look at that. Mmm. Great quality, great seasoning. Ton of flavorful chicken. Mmm. Hope everyone enjoys this. Make a chicken, make some beer can chicken. Let me see it. Enjoy it, everyone.